Hello, hello, welcome. How are we doing this evening? I hope you all are doing so good. I'm so excited to continue playing the Tears of the Kingdom game with y'all. I hope you all are having a lot of fun playing it as well. I'm kind of in the mood to do some shrines or do one of the quests that Pura wanted us to do at the beginning of the game. Yeah, that's the vibes. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again. I really appreciate you being here to hang out. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you could support me by subscribing. That means so much to me. And yeah, we're gonna get right into it, okay? Okay, so last time we ended in Rito Village, we had just gotten this shrine. Ooh, there's like a little cavey cave over here. I, I don't really have any complaints. Ooh, oh my god, wait, they're all like, they're more grown up. Stop, stop with that. Hooray, a customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, um, what can I do for you, mister? What is this place? This is a shop where you can buy cooking ingredients plus all other sorts of stuff. Although, we haven't gotten much, much business since the blizzard took out the bridge. Hey, mister, have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the, the bridge? The people there are making these thin, kind of thin books called newspapers. They used to be our best customers but I haven't heard from them in a while. Okay, is that all or did you want something else while you're here? Uh, goodbye. Sorry your shelves are kind of empty. It's because of all the heavy snowstorms. If you need food like fish or mushrooms, you could try poking around in the caves outside of town. There's a bunch of caves along the road to the east, even more of them in the Hebra Mountains. Oh, sad. Cane sugar and goat butter. What else do they have? Oil, cool, cool, cool. Looks like that's it for right now. Let's go see what else has changed since we were here in Breath of the Wild. Oh, don't be sad. Oh no, I did it again. The beds look too soft and inviting. A customer who's not sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. All right, bye. <laughs> How are things going, mister? We're about to practice our song. It's called the Song of the Storm Wind Arc. We're going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Are you gonna listen to our song, mister? Sure, let's hear it. Everybody ready? One, a two, and... Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Kid power. <laughs> Poor Vito Village. Where is everybody? I wonder where they all went. It's so weird. All right, well, I think since we are here, it'd be good for us to cook some stuff. Mmm. Mm. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Okay, I think that's probably good for now. Got a good amount of things in there. Okay, I just want to go all the way up here and see, like, okay, like, where is everybody, you know? Like, where'd you guys go? <laughs> you guys really just, like, abandoned all your children? That's so sad. Hmm? <laughs> I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Okay. There you go. <laughs> 
Aw, thank you, Molly. Working hard on arrows. Cool. Oh, there they are. I was wondering where they were. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Guys. Out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. It's Gone's voice from the dub. Stop. If we don't do anything, the village. <laughs> Stop! He's so cute! I love him! Ah, cutie! <laughs> Good to see that you're doing well. New Rito Elder. It's very nice to see you again. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe I would if he didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. Oh my god, he's like shaking with anger, bro. <laughs> as long as you think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find out what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. You mentioned a song? It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, we faced a different sort of upheaval. The village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. A few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, now, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Even if the Song of the Stormwind arc is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. The air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, Batulin. He thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Mm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Mm. What? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow. We, Rita, would or ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no signs of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires that way? He's in the lodge near there if you'd like to try visiting him. <sighs> so much to do. All right, well, aw, two looks so cute. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay, I was like, I don't see them for whatever reason. Let's go check out those bonfires. I'm just gonna run away from that pool. Hey there, are you here because you flooded the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though, as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy sky view tower. It wouldn't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat for its size and sheer brightness. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Well, I already got the tower, so thank you for letting me know about that. He said, what is this stuff? 
We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebrew mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things if you want them. For some reason, they're all yours. Okay, cool. Nice. Thanks, lady. That's very generous. Quite generous of you. All right, let's go in here. What's inside that cloud? Oh, oh my gosh, hearth. Look at him, emo king. <laughs> okay. I was worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Ah, uh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, Maybe Tulin could help. Oh, right, you weren't around for a bit, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the sky and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something to see and none of the rest of us can pull it off. Even stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with... Gisan and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Okay, nice. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to find finding Tulin. Cool. Ah. Drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Thanks, that's so sweet. Why is she so sweet? Uh, I love that. They're very generous. <gasps> Oopsies. I could have used that, probably. Well, alright. So it's like right over here somewhere. It's up here somewhere. I heard those not leads on Princess Zelda. It's been suggested you speak to Tulin, who's been scanning the skies. Earth said Tulin went to the Hebra South Summit Cave. Okay, so it's like this way. I'm gonna travel to that tower and then I'm going to try to fly over. I'm gonna stamp it purple. I gotta go towards the purple, wherever the bonfire is down there. There's that, right? And going towards here. Wasn't seeing many bonfires up there. Is a cave maybe like down here? Cause I'm, I'm at the top of it. So I'm just gonna keep looking, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Yay, cool. Little icy choo-choo jelly. Jelly, jelly. I like jelly. Okay, well, the bonfire wasn't there, but let's sleep until morning. What's my favorite jello? To be honest, I don't really like jello. I, I like pudding more. I, I'm not really a jello girly. Something about that, like, type of texture is like a no for me. I don't like that it's like all wiggly. You don't like the taste of wiggles? I don't. It's uncomfy, you know? Unbelievable. These huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up in those skies? 
Uh, oops, I hadn't expected to meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. If you go farther up the slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. They keep a bonfire stoked to the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. All right, got it. Do I have this, that one that they were wanting me to go to or not? Also, where I was trying to go was wrong, I think. So let's see. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll just go right up there. I wasn't sure where to go. Why didn't they mark it on the map? Don't they know I'm baby brained <laughs> and I need help? I can do it. I can figure out the puzzle. You know, it's all right. It's all good. Oh, yes, down there. Cool. I don't know how I missed this before, but that's okay. A little bonfire discovery. This is a good haul. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. With what, the blizzard and all, I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in this cave with Gasson. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Be on your guard. There's a creature in the cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Thank you. What have you guys been doing in here with all these spiky guys? What is that? Interesting. Well, those things are cool. Big ol' fireball. It's because I, this is a meteor rod. I believe I attached a ruby to it. And so it gives you, like, the ability to shoot fire. Thanks. I made it. I made it myself. All right, I gotta switch to a better weapon for smashing things. <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god! Holy fuck! That guy scared me. <sighs> I don't know. He was on that. He was on the ceiling. He scared me. They're like so. I don't know, dude. They're like big and big and tough and scary. They scare we. <laughs> I was. I was like, um, what the hell? <laughs> Did you see me jump? I like jumped. I was like, oh, oh scary. Hmm. Okay. It looks like I'm gonna have to climb up here probably. Have I beaten a Talus in that game yet? Um, next question, please. <laughs> I'm not, regrettably. I need to get more health. TBH. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I was like, um, can I go up more? I can. What the heck? Did I just like die? A sticky lizard. Aw, poor guys. Just ran into the spikes. Impaled themselves, probably. Oh. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to find my biggest enemy, the Talus, in here too. Probably. But maybe not. I don't know. That Tulin. What are we gonna do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh, a lot of bee. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tulin A. We well, just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tuli, Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm gonna follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. Got it. Uh-oh. If you can leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Toronto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters, and no doubt Tulin followed them there. Okay. 
Okay, I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Got it, got it. Yeah, honestly, he shouldn't. He's like a child. But honestly, maybe he's like a badass, so whatever. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, go up here to this thing. Towards the lone cedar tree on Tolanto Peak, visible to the north. According to Gasan, he saw a group of monsters and chased it alone. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is north. I'm pretty sure that's it, so. He said, I got tired. Here we go. Going up here. Climbing a mountain. No big deal. Oopsie. Oh no. <laughs> yes, we'll continue. Jeez. Stop chasing me, you jerk. Okay, here he is. Yay. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. Uh, Link, where'd you come from? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See, that's a bow napper. Gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a, a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do that for you too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Ooh, nice. I love that. When Tula's aura is charged, she can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for burst of speed while paragliding. All right, um... Wee, Cool. Where'd he go? The monster. Alright, where'd he go? There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. There's more of them. All right, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. <laughs> ah, I almost jumped off. Nice. Go. He's good at fighting, actually. We did it. Hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oh. Hey, Tulin, Link. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Oh, you saw that hearth. Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen to when Gasan tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged. But there is probably no way I could have got it back on my own. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah... You're right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. But I guess she's fine, because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Uh -huh. Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but... We're not going to get the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, 
Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you said the princess soared into. Oh, huh, but I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside the cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but there is not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Dad said that. Oh. Yep, and I'm sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem, the two of us have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Cool. All right, sick. Let's go. Aw, I like that we're like buds, you know? Me and him, we're little buds. Nice, that was actually pretty useful. Okay, nice. <laughs> wow! Looks like we just gotta go straight up now, I think. Cool. I'm glad we get to do like little quests and stuff with Tulin. I wonder what we're climbing on. This is kind of cool. I'm glad I didn't come up here before going to the village. <laughs> All right, here we go. Climbing up here. Climbing up the mountain. Hello. If only it was possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Why, if it isn't Tulin? I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. Well, that's a problem, buddy. <laughs> but if you come here, that means... Yep, they said I could go up here. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique ever since you first de demonstrated it. Maybe the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot, I'll be here watching for your return. Thanks, between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. That thing's pretty powerful, isn't it? It's pretty nice. Oh, that's nice. Bro, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this weapon, that's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Love me a stamina elixir. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, I see, I see. To this. Eee! Link! It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? thing but for real it is a ship i like saw this what? earlier look at that it's a boat huh whose voice was that it was coming from somewhere up there Whoa. Whoa, do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge! There's tons of those little flying boats too. You know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? 
I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Hmm. It's like he was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? Well, nowhere to go it up. All right, here we go. Are we gonna go on the ship? Are we gonna go up? What's the deal? Yeah, I remember bouncing on the ship. <laughs> My dog's barking. She's dreaming. <laughs> uh, where's Sulin? Come here, buddy. You don't know. She a rescue. She's special. <laughs> wow. I'm just gonna avoid those fools. All right, coming up here. Too high. That's stupid. That's stupid. How about now? Come on! Hmm. Do we need to go this way, maybe? Probably. Let's do that instead. All right, I think I need to shoot this with something hot. Or make a fire and then shoot it with something hot. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll use our last fire fruit here. Hopefully this works. I'd have to do more than one. I guess I'll use a bomb or two. Okay. I don't want to get a get an icicle to the face. <laughs> you know? Whoa. Okay, I was trying to say, I was like, I don't know if I if I like his weapon or no. Sorry, bud. I like your horn. Um, it's so cold in game. How does Link survive shirtless? Don't you see those beautiful Uggs? Okay, look at these. That keeps him. That keeps him warm. But yeah, a, a toga basically. Look at those beautiful, beautiful Uggs. <laughs> Snow boots. Oh, you can just break them regular. Okay. Eight. Is this an arrow? Give me that shit. We strong wind. Strong wind. Yeah, I can't go up that way, but we do have. Oh, thought I had a ship over here. Thought I had a little ship. Let's go up here. Let's see. All right. So there's that, right? Ooh. Okay. I think we're supposed to go up there. Yeah, so not that way, because that's where we just came from, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up this way. I'm not sure. How do I get up that way? Hmm. There's all these, like, mysterious-ass ships up here. Hmm. Looks like this is, like, our next area where we can jump up high and go, like, that way, right? But how the heck do I get up there? Hmm. Right, okay, so that's where I came from. There's a mysterious voice guiding Tulin to the cloud. Okay. Right, and like I see all this, right? I see that, and then I see that. So, I guess we'll just go this way. Flame emitter club, nice. Okay, let me just make sure I know where I'm going. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. Well, yeah, because this is where it just came from. What the heck? This is a pretty game. Well, I am glad that you're enjoying it, because I agree. Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to go there? 
I guess I could try, right? I can try. It's down there. Okay, cool. Oops. Okay, let's jump into it. Get some momentum going. Okay, nice. Nice. <gasps> that scared me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got scared, guys. That was scary. Okay, never be reckless again. Got it. Nope. <laughs> I missed. so high into the sky. I would like to go in here though. Yeah, what's in here? Some flint, some chill room, some fishy. Nice. Come here, you. Break these boxes. I wish there was some cool armor in here. Oh, it's sounding pretty ominous now as we're getting pretty high up. job. He's tough. He's actually a helpful little buddy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. It's okay. I'll just do them one at a time. One at a time. Let's heal. Yay! I love when he helps. Throwing a bomb at us? Okay, let's just run. That's my favorite thing to do. Did they follow us? Okay, they did. They have freaking bombs, bro. Okay, we did it. It's hard to fight sometimes. It's yeah, we. But we did it. So go us. Okay. Sick. Sick. <laughs> Say like that. The fuck? <laughs> also, is there a freaking shrine down there? I think that might be the shrine that we already have, though. Wow, this music is sounding very alarming. Okay, we have to go up in this balloon or something. Oh, you know what? I know. Okay, here. go and okay, we have to get something that'll light a fire do I need to pick this thing up and put it in there a time bomb I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with these well you know what that's okay I think I need to do this maybe. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Okay, so that's not what we're supposed to do. Got it. All right, well let's uh, let's check out in here. See if there's anything we can find. Whoa! I just died. Are you kidding? <laughs> the fuck? Hmm. That ticks me off. Cool. 
character for whatever reason that killed me last time. Probably because a rock fell on me or something. Alright guys, as sad as it is to end here, I think I need to save and then we'll kind of pick up where we left off from here next time. Alright guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. And one more thing, if you are watching on YouTube and you've made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And if you're not already, please subscribe and like. That would mean a lot to me if you could support me in that way. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, y'all.